again, I always have hope that, you know, I see different pockets um, of people having realisations about how fucking ignorant and stupid they've been allowing this fucking idiotic thing that we call civilised fucking living come to fruition. Because it's anything but civilised. If you're an ignorant person then it doesn't matter to you. You know, that's why I've done the, the whole, you know, let's play a game. Let's play a game. I want to play a game. Imagine you're blindfolded and taken somewhere and you don't know what's going on. And you're thrown into some area and unmasked. The first thing that you're going to ask yourself is, where the fuck am I here? And in that situation, you're meeting other people who are within the same area that you find yourself in, who have been there for longer than you, who have formulated stories and narratives of where they think they are and why they're there and what it means to be there and all that stuff. And you know fine well the very first question that you asked yourself is where am I here? Because it means nothing that all these people that have been here are telling me these stories and their elaborate fucking schemes and narratives and blah blah blah. It means diddly squat you never actually established where you were. So again, imagine the scenario. Imagine there is other areas. Imagine there is other land. Imagine there's other ponds, other pods. And then again, imagine there's no. Imagine we're in some isolated, contained vessel of some kind. Then new questions are born. New adventures take hold. Again, back to this, this is a technology. Who runs the technology? Is there maintenance of the technology? Are there janitors? Is there a manager? These are questions that are valid. Again, I don't know the wider spectrum of what is actually going on here. What's involved? Who's involved? Whose technology is this? I'm talking about the world. Life and all that stuff, it's a technology. We ain't no fucking bones about it. Whose technology? I do not know. One thing's for sure it's going to be pushed and used for some agenda. Ben de vazgeçmek yoktu, bitmedi
Again, I employ a Socratic, what's been termed as a Socratic method of reasoning, which is basically asking questions without making any assertions or claims. And I encourage everybody else to adopt that. Right. So this notion of burden of proof you were a child, you were born into this situation. You may have adopted certain fallacies, beliefs, fallacious beliefs about life, where you think you are, who you think you are, yada, yada, yada. Right? And that's because you were an innocent and you look to your peers. The minute that you become reasoning on your own, it becomes your responsibility. It's up to you now to question all claims and all assumptions, predominantly and first and foremost, your own. And if you have the determination and if you have intellectual honesty and integrity within you, then you will arrive at the same position that I'm in. The burden of proof lies with any affirmative claim, regardless of whether you adopted that claim and represented that claim for a period of your life. The burden lies on those making the claim, particularly, particularly when those claims are contrary to your common sensibilities to your direct experience. These are outlandish, extraordinary claims which should require extraordinary proof for you to accept that it's real. What counts is not what sounds plausible, not what we'd like to believe, not what one or two witnesses claim, but only what is supported by hard evidence, rigorously and skeptically examined, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. The world is round. So I am now going to make a wild, way out, extraordinary claim. The world is round. I do not give a fuck about this consensus bollocks. Well, the scientific consensus says it's a globe, so the burden of proof is on you. That's akin to saying, well, when you were five, the consensus amongst five-year-olds was that Santa Claus was real. So therefore, the burden of proof is on you to disprove Santa Claus's existence. 
That's how fucking absolutely absurd these dipshits are. As I said before, you do not and never will experience the globe earth. Everything in your experienced lived life and your direct common sense tells you that you are not on a whirly twirly fantasy space rock. You've never seen it, you've never experienced it, no aspect of it have you ever practically experienced in any way, shape or form. Ever. And you never will. The reason being is because it does not fucking exist. It's a conceptual idea based in mathematical language. Not in the objective real world. In the imaginations of fucking corrupt lunatic men and women.